Now, sir, they get your sh off my car. As soon as you take your car, get your out of here. What's up, gays? Cucumber Feed is back again with another autistic deep dive into an individual who's been brutally made fun of online because they're weird. I would like to introduce you to something called the Perry Project. It centers around a man who is Perry Caravello. He's like the prototype for lol cows. He is the blueprint, the precursor to people like Chris Chan, for instance. He has been subject to an over 30 year experiment called the Perry Project, a Truman Show style of increasingly elaborate pranks designed to troll Perry into an emotional outburst, which he is prone to have. Eat and die, Perry, you mother die, die, die. For over 30 years, comedians, Actors, directors have all been trolling Perry simply because it's funny. In more recent years, he has transitioned into a full-time streamer. So content creators and fans alike have been able to participate in the project as well. Perry has never really been able to piece together this grand conspiracy and the reason why everyone he's interacted with for the last three decades have been trolling him, as well as who is the mastermind behind it. The Big Three. Like all the lol cows that came after him, Perry shares a lot of the common traits that kind of lead to their downfall. A low IQ, low social intelligence and emotional intelligence, narcissism, some level of autism, and well, just a, just a, a mental illness. Generally, this cocktail of personality traits leads them to not be fully equipped to handle any type of adversity, resulting in confusion, anger and aggression. And while Perry shares many of these traits, it is worth noting that in 1997, at the age of just 16, he'd find himself in a car accident, leaving him with major brain trauma. This is probably a primary factor as to why Perry is Perry. Also, there is the case that he's just mentally ill. Maybe both. Perry started his stand-up comedy career in 1982, modeling himself after the explosive and bombastic Sam Kinison giving him the nickname Scary Perry. He would quickly draw the attention of comedy store paid regular Don Barris. The duo would also start hanging out with Tony Barbieri, aka Mole, forming the comedy troupe The Big Three. The group would travel the country grinding as comedians for years and in 1992, 10 years after they met, Don Barris would start The Perry Project, an experiment to fuck with his friend who was gullible and easily angered. Windy City Heat. Perry would break into Hollywood, igniting his dreams of being a movie star. And by break into Hollywood, I mean Don Barris would use his connections to get Perry work as an extra to humiliate him. For example, here's Perry as gay inmate number two in 2002's Austin Powers Gold Member. Hey man. I know guys on crack that makes more sense than you. In 2003, we'd see the release of one of the greatest comedy movies of all time, Windy City Heat. It was a made-for-TV movie that aired a few times on Comedy Central, flopping, but later establishing itself as a cult classic. Windy City Heat is a noir crime drama where Perry stars as Stone Fury, a sports private eye. Yes, a detective that exclusively investigates athletic-related cases. Or at least that's what Perry thought the movie was about. It was actually a behind-the-scenes documentary about a low IQ, struggling comedian being tricked into thinking he's starring in a summer blockbuster which would launch his acting career to A-list status, even though the movie doesn't exist. Everything and everyone in the movie is in on it, except for Perry. Everything being filmed, everything behind the camera on the production side was all an elaborate scheme just to piss off Perry. For example, here's a scene where Perry is instructed to guard a craft service table by the director, Bobcat Goldthwait. I was instructed Boring. to not Can I allow... tell you what to... Let go, I was, let go. I was instructed to not allow you 
to have anything on the table because the money man for this movie is coming. The best way I even want. to impress him is to show him this beautiful table. One move, by one move. One move. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What happened? Oh, no! This is outrage! Uh, I put out all money. The movie is over. What? It's canceled. It's your fault, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Stop! 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 Don't be crazy, Stop. man. Stop. Harry, come on. Mole is not a human being. He's a he's a fucking little bitch. He's a child. He doesn't know how to be a grown-up person. I told him to stay away from the table. Put it in son of a bitch. Stop. Got a fucking dollar in Stop. it. Stop! And you'll get the. There's so many hilarious bits in this movie. I'd recommend checking it out. It's actually free. You could watch it on YouTube pretty easily. I'll leave a link in the description. It'll give you like a pretty good overview of the mindset of this individual. They just keep torturing and abusing this guy. They make him jump in a dumpster multiple times doing like 11 takes or whatever it was. This isn't wet enough. We need to go again. We need more crap. More and more crap. Again? again? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they we said we got to do it again, and I think we did it again. That scene we did about three or four times, and I was getting pissed. Hey, why don't you ask for a stunt double? Then you don't have to do this. A stunt double? Do you want to get a stunt double? Yeah, thank you. All right, let's get Perry a stunt double. Perry almost never knew the truth about Windy City Heat. The big three got together to watch an actual edited version of what was filmed, and he never caught on that it was fake. Also, there was this freakout. But two years after the release, Perry would discover the internet and finally piece together that it wasn't real. Perry would start making media appearances post Windy City Heat, where he'd be trolled relentlessly. Here's a clip of him on a radio show in 2005. Jimmy Kimmel, Adam Carolla, and Johnny Knoxville were there. Knoxville told Perry if he put a mouse trap on his penis, he'd give him $10 million. Okay, you got to do oh! the other one. No! Put your penis, is put your penis out. What is enough? Put your penis out. What is it's $10 enough? million. Dollars. Of course, he'd never be paid a dime, and Perry unsuccessfully sued Knoxville, Kimmel, and Corolla. Perry would make an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel in 2009, where his mic kept cutting out, and they had to use the boom mic instead. Oh, you're on TV, buddy! <laughs> it's me, your old buddy, Ma! Are you talking about your boyfriend, Richard Heine? <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 Barry, what? Get off him! Get off him! Get off Perry, just sit down! You're on TV! I got his fan trap! I got his fan trap! Perry, just sit down! Perry, just sit down! All right. I got the fanny pack! And see, it appears that we've lost. The band would get back together in 2010 for the Big Three podcast. It came to an end in 2015, but in that year came its best moment. Earlier in that year, Perry was tricked into joining NAMBLA, the North American Man Boy Love Association, which is a real thing, by the way. Maybe I should make a video on that. Subscribe to find out. Hello, NAMBLA members. As the South Park representative... Hold it right there! Move your body mouth! What's going on? All right, sickos, where are the children? What children? This... Is NAMBLA, right? Yes. The North American Man Boy Love Association. What? No. We're the North American Marlon Brando lookalikes. Oh, crap. We've got the wrong NAMBLA. Oh, damn it. I'm in the wrong place. At the time, Perry was tricked into thinking that NAMBLA stood for negative allegations made behind legendary actors, a group which acted to fight back against cancel culture. Perry proudly displayed NAMBLA bumper stickers on his car until he was told what the group actually stood for. And lucky for us, he found out on an episode of their podcast. Whoa, 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 wait. Right now, a few seconds ago, Don Barris just wrote, Perry, what are you doing? This makes you look like a bigger freak than your than your freaky publicist. Oh, fucking asshole he is. Do you know what you're? Do you know what you've just joined? Yeah, I do. It's the North American Man Boy Love Association. If you don't believe me, check out this this link. North American Man Boy Love Association. What? I, uh...
In 2017, sadly, one of the big three, Don Bears, would pass away. Jimmy Kimmel held a eulogy for Don at the comedy store where this happened. In 2020, Perry would jump on the streamer bandwagon, which has led to a nearly infinite amount of hilarious clips. His viewers sent chat donations in exchange for him to perform tasks that always go wrong. Like when he was offered 50 bucks to unwrap all the bananas in his house. You! You! Get on, get my bananas! Hey Perry, that's the offer. It's $50 and you can buy- Forget about it! Hey Perry, stop. Hey Perry, pause for a second. Pause. Pause. You're in lunatic. The old ketchup in the hat routine. It's coming out of the sides now. You think I'm doing great, but you you're turning my house into a fucking fiasco. No, your house. A mess. It's gonna take me three fucking days to clean up, and this weekend is supposed to be a holiday weekend. And I gotta stay home and clean. Fuck you. And the time you learned how to twerk. The very last thing I would like to mention is his interactions with Cartnarks, a content creator who politely harasses people who have poor shopping cart etiquette. He had a completely chance encounter with Perry where he lost his shit. Carts right there. So that doesn't say please return carts there. You're gonna put mine to the shame, sir. Now, sir. I will as soon as you return your cart. Would you like a magnet instead? Now, sir. They Get your shit off my fucking car! As Kick your fucking ass! No, you me. aren't. How old are you, sir? I'll beat your fucking ass! Sir, I'm a bitch. look. I'll beat your fucking ass! The video came out in February 2022, but it really started gaining a lot of traction on Twitter in 2023, leading to the two being guests on comedian Chrissy Mayer's podcast in July of 2023. Excuses they now have. Well, here we go. Hello, Perry. You're in deep shit with me, girl. What? Let me put you in the middle. So, wait, You're let me put... I'll separate. I'll separate you. Me. I'm why, in deep shit why, with you? Why? 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 Would you put this... on your damn show? Because oh. I like what he does. I like what he does. Oh, he's a carton art. He likes to fucking bother people when they're busy. No, you're not that. What are you? What, what are you busy? What are you busy doing that? What were you busy doing that day? Shopping. You are not busy. You are not a busy person. I can look. You're not busy cleaning your house. Obviously, look behind you. Oh no. Nice. Well, this is called work. He gets this a lot of packages. He gets a lot of packages, Sebastian. Yeah, I see it's a lot of popcorn fault. tins in the background. That's your work. <laughs> he gets a lot of things sent to him. That's been given to me years ago. Oh, okay, I so just leave it on the dining room table like a slob, all right. Perry's a beautiful maniac that is a farm of hilarious content, but unfortunately, he doesn't possess the mental faculties to understand the joy he brings to the world. And if you've been watching this long, thank you. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, because I'm gay. Bye.